Hi there, I'm Miss Beasley. And I'm Miss Grummet. And we're here to introduce... This year's Drama Club production. It's been two years since we've been able to do a production. And we are so proud of all of the talent and hard work that has gone into it. So we hope that you enjoy. A beautiful princess in danger, whether it be a dragon or a of slumber, poison apples are locked away in a tower, an evil stepmother or queen, and don't forget about the knight in shining armor. The prince is coming to save the day. Boom! And the lovable side character. The only person that's cared about our dear damsel in distress, since whatever tragedy happened early on in her life, there you have it. Every classic princess fairy tale known to the living world, summarized from its once upon a time beginnings to its happily ever after endings. <sighs> Why? Why do they all have to be like that? Why does the princess have to be this damsel in distress that must be saved by the big strong prince? Because she's too dainty and fragile to do anything herself. Gosh forbid she chips a nail while on a walk in the woods. But the prince, he'll fix everything with a kiss and his big strong muscles and save the day. Enough! Enough of this wishy washy damsel in distress stuff. I will be my own hero. I will save my own day. And there's nothing anybody can do to stop me. I will be the princess that saves the day, wins the battles, and defeats whatever evil is attempting to prevail that is threatening my life and my kingdom. Is that all, Your Majesty? Yes, Anita. Thank you. Snow? What's wrong? You haven't left your chambers all day. I sent Catherine a tweet. You did what? Why? You know she hates messenger birds. She'd probably kill the poor thing. We don't know that. I'm pretty certain. Well, she can't be all bad. Can't be all bad? Snow, she tried to kill you. I know. You still haven't told me why you sent her that tweet. <sighs> I want to make amends. Maybe a therapy session. I mean, it worked for Cinderella and her stepsisters. No, absolutely not. I can't let you do that. They call her the evil queen for a reason. She'd probably say no either way. You don't think I could do it, do you? Come on, you know, that's not what I meant. Then what, then? I just, I don't want to see you get hurt. That's all. But if you feel like this is something you have to do, you have my full support. Okay, thank you. You know what? Let's just worry about it when she answers, okay? Okay. I'll see you at dinner. Love you. Love you too. Your Majesties, so sorry to interrupt, but your stepmother has sent a reply to your tweet. Did the bird make it out alive? Ben? What? It's a valid question. Yes, Your Majesty. She sent back the same bird. Would you like me to read the message? Yes, of course. Fine. Does 4 p.m. tomorrow work for you? She certainly sounds like a warm, friendly person. Thank you, Anita. Please send back a message via tweet and arrange a carriage for her tomorrow afternoon. Of course. You don't have to do this. Ben, I won't be happy until I know I fixed my relationship with Catherine. Okay, just don't eat any apples, all right? Don't worry, I won't. Oh, you must be Snow White. Please make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Is your stepmother on her way? I hope so. It's already past four. All right, I'm here. Can we please get this over with? Catherine, it's so great to finally see you again. 
Right. I wish I could say the same. You had me so worried when you came late. I thought something bad had happened. <laughs> I'm never late. Everyone else is early. Right. Well, it's so great to finally meet you, Catherine. Please take a seat. On this? We could bring in the couch if you would prefer. It might take some time, though. Yes, that would be much the better. The chairs are fine. Thank you. Are you sure? Of course not. Yes. That's why I... Positive. All right, then. Well, I'm so pleased to meet the two of you. My name is Megan, and as you know, I'll be your therapist. Now, before we begin, I just want you to know that this is a safe space. I want you to feel free to express your opinions openly and honestly. So, what seems to be the problem? Oh, I can assure you, there's more than one. Well, I feel like our relationship has been... strained. Strained? is a gross understatement. Well, either way, we want to fix it. What was your relationship like before the marriage? Non-existent. Distant. Distant. And why is that? Well, when my father died, Catherine was the only parental figure in my life. I just feel like she wasn't really there for me. Oh, I see. So now I'm the bad guy. You made me feel alone and unwanted. I was busy snow. I was a queen. I didn't have time for moody teenagers. I was not moody. I guess. But you did have this annoying little habit of singing all the time. Here I was, trying to plan a meeting with my advisors, and all I could hear was singing. Singing is what I love to do. You never understood that. You always fiddled around with those magic trinkets. What? So I'm not allowed to have hobby? I Ladies, it seems to me that you never really had the chance to bond and grow to understand each other. I'm going to end this session for today, but what I want you to do for homework is to get to know each other over the next week. Okay. Fine. So far, we're off to an excellent start. I'll see you next week. Thank you. So, how did your week go? Fine. Horrible! So is the most ridiculous person I've ever met. It confirms everything I ever knew about her. She's so nice. It's sickening. Yeah, well, Catherine's hobbies are awful. You should see the potions she buys. Maybe you should work past what you think about each other's hobbies and focus more on the fact that they make the other person happy. I don't understand how hoarding potions can make someone happy. She tried to kill me with one of her poisons. Only because you were so insufferably perfect. Catherine, did Snow White make you feel at all lesser than? Of course not. It was just that she was always the nicest, the prettiest, the most well-liked. Besides, she gossiped to the rest of the kingdom about me. Because of her, I'm always known as evil. Because of you, I'm afraid of apples. Because of you, I can't look at myself in the mirror. All my magic mirror would talk about is you. How you were the most beautiful. How I could never be you. Do you know what it's like to not be enough? Yes. Of course not. You. Wait, what? Excuse me? So I... I'll be back. Snow? Please leave me be, Catherine. Please. What did you mean when you said you weren't enough? You'll laugh. Oh, come now. My sense of humor isn't that sick. It's just that I thought you didn't spend time with me because I wasn't good enough. Everyone at court thought I was naive or just plain silly. No one thought I could rule a kingdom. No one thought I could be queen. Well, I mean, they were right. What good does dancing and singing do for a kingdom? I mean, um, that's what you were like, back then, I mean. Over the past few years, you've been a great queen, a strong queen, better, better than me. What? Oh, please don't make me say it again. It was agonizing the first time. You really mean it? Yes, and I'm sorry for poisoning you. I it was my fault, I suppose. It's not your fault my magic mirror has a skewed perception of beauty. I'm sorry, too, for spreading those rumors about you. It's not that I actually felt mistreated. I, I just lashed out because I was angry. Oh, Catherine, we can be friends now. Touch me again, and I'll poison you for real. Right. We should get back to Megan soon. Do we have to? I don't see the good of telling a complete stranger about every single conversation we have. Come on, Catherine. She's our therapist. She's going to help us. All right. 
But I'm not going back until tomorrow. I have a many petty in a half hour. Works for me. I'll see you tomorrow. Did you two get the chance to talk? Yes, we did. I think we solved the issue. Yes, I think we have. We want to continue to work on our relationship, though, so we're going to continue our therapy sessions. Ugh. I can't believe I actually just said that. That's fantastic. I'll send you the paperwork. Thank you, Megan, for everything. Without you, we would have never set aside our differences and opened a nature retreat. Nature retreat? Well, after our argument the other day, we realized that stress and being too judgmental was the root of our problems. We want others to learn to de-stress. Great to hear. You know what? I think you've made the most progress out of all the clients I've ever seen. Thank you. It's such an exciting project. We'll have meditation, nutritional wellness courses, fitness, arts. Arts? You know, music, dance, drama. Painting. So we can have art lessons, but no botanical beauty classes? The arts are good for your mind and overall health. Natural, whole products used for skin care is also good for your health. I don't want you making some weird potions! What's so weird about an oatmeal face mask? An oatmeal face mask, is it? With what? Human tears? I, for the love of frogs, I've already said sorry for poisoning you! I know, I just, I just don't want it happening again. And besides, Putting on face products requires a mirror. You know how you get with mirrors. Mirrors don't scare me, Miss Afraid of Apple. Oh, but they're creepy and shiny and round. Oh, I always have to do this. You always bring that. You this always bring that so first. I don't understand you. I may have spoken too soon. Yes? No, this isn't a bad time. Well, my 4 p.m. just canceled. At least I think so. Goldilocks and the Three Bears? Okay, send them in. <laughs>